Are we live or are you streaming? Careful because we'll go Twitch on accident. It's okay, Jared. I've got it covered. Things are happening. I don't get a ban. You are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast, where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host, Alexander Gonzalez. Mark Nikolai, his big little brother Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. So, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of those cigar guys. We uh, we're over here. We're gonna do a base of cigar Maduro ash contest. Uh, I got my gold. Base of Maduro. This is a uh, one of two release, uh, an unreleased release. Uh, yeah. I think they call it a one of two unreleased. A piece unique. No, it's an unreleased released edition. I thought you found that golden ticket in the box. Is like one in one million. I did, and it actually uh, gave me. Oh, look! The gold isn't even melting. It's just going straight onto the ash. That's pretty interesting. It's real gold. We'll, we'll, we'll smoke some more, and then I'll show you guys. But uh, that might help. What are you guys smoking today? <laughs> well, I was told that we're doing a base of Maduro long ash contest. So I got myself a base of Maduro from basecigar.com. That makes sense. And um, just lit it up. Two puffs in, it's pretty good. Mark? Yeah, so um, I was informed about this contest so i picked up i went ahead and picked up a cigar from my good friend jimmy at celery city cigars and i got the base of maduro true yeah he's doing a um event july do you remember the date i do not remember the 21st 22nd 23rd i just saw this I, poster. I was gonna say 23rd it's actually a two-day event Three days. Um, so we'll be there 24 hours, 300. <laughs> three, I'm sorry. Three. It's the 25th. It's the 21st, I swear. It's the 25th. It's uh, July 25th, 7 to 10. Basa cigar pairing with a flight of scotch from a company I don't remember. We just got told this like yesterday. Um, For once, we didn't set it up. I know, yeah. Shout out to Jimmy for setting up the event for us. Um, you get your choice of a base of Maduro or a base of Habano. And then you get, f- I think, four shots of whiskey or scotch. Of course, you're going to make me pronounce it. Ben Reich, I think. <laughs> ben Reich, but that's, how, that's how I would pronounce it. Glenn or Ben? Ben. All right. For the B. Because Glenn Reich is terrible. There's too many Glenn something scotches. I can't, I can't smoke this. <laughs> Bad. Here, Harry, I. Like, would you do the. Uh, there's a. Oh, yeah, I could taste it. Oh. Yeah, you could, right? Yeah. Yeah, gold on cigars is a no go. So, what does gold taste like? Well, when you eat it, it doesn't taste that bad, but when you smoke it, it might taste bad. But usually it's on a steak, so you're like, it's mixed in. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. what's it like when you smoke it? It's nice and cold. Nice and cold. Yeah. What are you looking at? From our uh, Z Z one Z Zoom. Oh, the cigar. Yeah. Z one Z one. Have you ever looked at your poop after you eat gold? Um, no, but I can bite you over next time I do it. Yeah, yeah. You see gold flakes in your poop or your stool. Oh yeah. Sorry, Mark. You need to come over and check this out because my camera's broken. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Are you gonna wipe <laughs> after you come over? <laughs> There might be gold in there. It'd be a huge waste. That's true. You're right. Five dollars, seven dollars. We we got to sift through that to get the gold. I'll give you a shovel. (laughs) I'm not touching it. (laughs) You said we have to sift through it, so I assume you're helping. You know those things that pay you You for your. You know know how Mark. Don't change the subject. You know how Mark helps. You you know he he delegates. He manages. He supervises. (laughs) Yeah, you you know that thing where um, like they'll pay for your poop to like 
Check it out. I know. I sent you the email. I got rejected from that. Oh, yeah. Remember, it's so cool. We got like seven. And you just see gold every time. At the end of an email, it was willing to pay you thousands of dollars for referrals. So I can try to refer you guys. Yeah, refer me. I guess. How much? So if they're paying you thousands of dollars for a referral, how much are they paying for the sample? I don't know. I got rejected. <laughs> pay, I, I heard they pay a couple hundred bucks. And they said they won't tell us why. Dang. But it's like, is that per, per, per stool or? Wait, do you send them a stool sample and they tell you if you're accepted or rejected? No, I didn't get that far. No. That'd been great though. I'd be like, everyone come here. <laughs> so they look at your resume and they say, I don't know if this guy's right for well, us. They, they probably ask you how many times you poop and Jared was like, <laughs> three times a once day. Once a day. <laughs> it was like a colon history. I mean, they right. asked you really in depth questions. It took me like 20 minutes to fill out the survey. Yeah, it was pretty deep. Refer me, refer me. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, what are we talking about? Make sure you go on we'll Reddit. We'll put Jerry's referral link in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? I forgot. Something about Reddit. Oh, yeah. You just got to go on Reddit first and see uh, what answers they're looking for. Hmm. True. So, can you apply again under a different name? Yeah, I'm going to use Mark's name now. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> They use mine. He's gonna make Jared's. Jared's gonna use um Jared Burrow, but no less. True. And then they gotta accept you because they'll think you're related to Joe Burrow. But who knows if his poop is like good? That uh, they it doesn't would, matter at that point. They would know. I assume that the stool sample ha- like it has to be like superb, superb, superb. You wanted to say superior. Well, superior, superb, poop. Like the one I've done once a yeah, day. Yeah, so you'll probably send it and they'll be like, oh, it's not high quality. You got to do it again. It's like, sorry, it took three to five days to get there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I was supposed to refrigerate it. Imagine being the guy that has to like sift through that. Like, you, you get one guy like Jared and Chipotle the night before you get it. It's like, God damn. <laughs> I'm sure they tell you like, <laughs> you think they rinse out the corn? <laughs> and re- reseed it. Do they, they pay extra do they corn. reseed it or do they eat it? That's actually, you know, I've saved a lot of money over the years. Don't even finish that. Because I, <laughs> <laughs> oh I only eat corn and then you just recycle it and then you eat it again. I don't know about you guys, but this has been a pretty shitty podcast. <laughs> I will say, though, you still chew the corn, so it's not going to be like. You get it? You're talking about poop? I, I got it. I just swallow whole usually. Oh, okay. Fills up your stomach. So you get pre-cut corn and then you just swallow it whole. Yeah. No. <laughs> like you don't eat corn in the cob. because no, I, like, I, I, <laughs> Do I even want to know? You just got to deep throw the corn. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all for now, folks. Thank you for tuning in to <laughs> another episode. We're going to have a meeting about corn. Hiring a new cigar guy. If you guys want to send your applications in. But anyway, for who? Who's he replacing? <laughs> or she? <laughs> Who's she? I don't know. I'm just I'm just saying. Just it's in case. 2024. Hmm. Hmm. We have been asked for interns, though. That actually is a serious thing. People have actually asked. They've asked us for interns. Ships. Intern internships. Oh, we we should do it. We'll boat. Okay. Huh? No, you, I heard. Ship. Oh, intern. No. Internships, one oh. word. Mm. Um, is that a new Royal Caribbean ship? Close. It's like Central Florida boat. Gotcha. Oh, my bad, my bad. So, yeah. We might actually get a real-life intern instead of the fake ones we always talk about. I'm so glad I planted the cigar in there with a toothpick paper clip. <laughs> A toothpick it might taste a little bad. No, it's one of those metal cowboy toothpicks. Ah, cool. If it was a toothpick, would it burn with the cigar? Probably. That's a good question. It might burn, but a little bit, and then it might still be strong enough. It would turn into like a stem, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like that same consistency. Like it's hard enough to keep the structure. Well, last time you cheated, you used like an actual paper clip, right? I never cheated. Episode yeah, four so I, I of the Cigar Guys clip. podcast. Skip to like 75% of the way. Find out for yourself. 
and let us know in the comments. It, Did it, Zach cheat? It was a fun surprise. I thought so. I thought it was funny. I basically saw it coming. Bro, Mark, you gotta be careful, bro. You're about to knock down that ash. <laughs> All right. Comment right now. Who do you think is going to win? That's a debate. Who won that debate? Mm. First comment, who won the presidential election debate? And then comment, who do you think is going to win this challenge? Don't cheat like Zach. Don't skip to the end and find out. But. Yeah, the debate was wild. He did so bad. I know. Trump did terrible. <laughs> Excuse me? He just, oh. He lied. Lied and lied again. What did he do? We should, we should have watched it Lie. together. <clears throat> what? We should have watched it together. It'd been like more fun. <laughs> was he not there? I think, um, I think he was like already half a bottle in before Biden went on stage. So he probably doesn't remember. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, I don't blame him. I'm going to sit through an hour and a half of, you're talking about Biden half a bottle in, right? <laughs> yes I, I love when he was um but i was talking and then it, they were like trump and he was like i i don't even know what this guy said i don't even think he knows what he said <laughs> that was that was pretty funny the most tamed debate yet i have a six handicap i brought it down from an eight to a six you know how hard it is to get a six handicap man i don't even know what that means if i'm being 100 honest I mean, like your handicap is how many shots over uh, you went on like a 18 course hole. So like. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So my handicap's like a three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like a 333. <laughs> yeah. So it's like if, you know, in a par three, if you shot four times. That's one over. Yeah. Mm. So you're telling me this guy. Who was lost? once at an eight. All right, this is great. Don't give up. We can keep going because someone else might drop. All right, you're right. Uh, you're right. See? Well, I, I don't think... I, the person with the longest ash wins. So mine fell oh, off so early. We're changing the rules now? I thought you said longest ash. Yeah, we said the longest ash. I think, or longest ashing. Yeah. But the premise There's is no who keeps it on the longest. Yeah, so, but like, let's say I get all of this so I just do this for 50 minutes. Let's say I get all of this ash and you only got down to here, but it was still longer than my first what one. What did we do last time? Didn't listen, we? Listen, you have to be precise because the law is precise. <laughs> what is he saying? The suits? <laughs> You're the one that watches the show. And then you guys have seen suits? I watched it through TikTok. I started so it's like it out of and order. then it kind of stopped. I haven't watched this uh, Young Folk trial. Been pretty interesting, actually. Is there any updates on that? Yeah, they just were cruised recused the judge so they, they recused him they recused him so uh it's going to another judge right now to see if they should take him off are you watching this on tiktok so i thought you said you got He's, rid of that <laughs> no, no no twitter or x what do you want to call it nice save there we'll check your phone after the show <laughs> <laughs> it's okay jared's already done a sweep He's got he's got a uh, device on the table actually? that's scanning his phone. Huh? <laughs> See how his phone's down like that? It's actually on, and he's using a device to scan your phone. He's searching for a TikTok. Facts. Yeah. So you, you guys think he's going to drop out? I think he is. I think so too. No, I think yeah. Trump's going to stay in for this one. <laughs> 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 Who do you think is going to take his place? That's the better question. I posted a whole synopsis about this in the group chat. Did yeah, you get rid of iMessage on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> so this guy gets iMessage on his phone, and then you get rid of it. I don't want to read his chat GBT answer for that. Uh, what? <laughs> that was very thorough. So everything I've seen... <laughs> I did not read that either. It was too long. Right? Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about, honestly. That thing that you read the intro and outro on? No, that was Mark. Oh. Then I don't even know either. I, from what I've been seeing, everyone's saying like Kamala Harris is the best shot. No way. That's what I said. Nobody likes her. However, I do agree with them when they say that she has a better chance of winning than Biden does. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. 
He's pulling at like nine percent, and she's pulling at like eighteen. She didn't do anything as vice president. I think, I think Kennedy is. Kennedy's gonna take over, and then I think he's gonna drop oh, out. No way. I think he's gonna drop out one month before the election. What? That would be crazy. Know. That would be insane. Honestly, that would be. But they would not allow that. That would be their best shot. Like to be honest, that would be their best shot. No, we're missing a huge, two huge players that everyone knows about. Who the California governor? Yeah, nobody likes him. And Michael no, Obama. No. So that's one technically. But think about it. If Kamala Harris is acting vice president, you could swap out that individual with another person. It, Obama can still run as vice president. He already did two terms as actual president. He can still run as vice president. Uh, and then they could boot yep. Kamala Harris and he'll be president for. Or they use Michelle for president or Hillary or anybody else. I don't, mm. I don't think that's plausible. It's plausible, but I don't it's think legal. it's, it's probable for them. Do you see that whole thing where, you know, the, like amendment states that a president could only serve two consecutive terms and it doesn't say anything about non-consecutive. It doesn't say anything about total. Yeah. It's, which, it's, which I don't, I don't know if that's two, true. I literally just heard that today. It's two terms total, true. 10 years. Look max. It up. You got your phone? Look I'm pretty up. sure that's right. I, yeah. I think, I think Jared's correct. Cause that would be a major. Look up, look up the amendment. Are you, you got your phone? It's work. I mean, it's, I, I want to hear the exact wording. It's going to be a huge amendment. Read the entire thing from start to finish. <laughs> Read the one before it too, just in case there's like context clues and the one after it. So that's the problem with these people that like shout a random Bible verse out at you. They didn't read the first five before it. Facts. I'm pretty sure that it's total. You know, I, I am but, too. I am too, but I'm just saying that that's why I heard today. It, uh, main provision. It limits it president to two terms in office he, he's, he's, person, he's looking at chat gbt no if, if a person serves more than two terms what the fuck is the exact thing that it says that's what i'm asking <laughs> stop uh. asking chat gbt <laughs> we're becoming so lazy <laughs> as a society god give me my phone <laughs> mark give section one no he's person still chat gbt <laughs> yeah but i just asked it to quote the it's going to be huge. Section one, no, per- no person shall be elected to the office of the president more than twice. And no person who has held the office of president or acted as president for more than two years of a term. Wait, which for more than 10 years max. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still not positive that's exactly what it says. Because from my knowledge of US, AP US history, I'm pretty sure it uses the word terms. I don't think it says... Yeah, max of two terms. Elected twice, but he didn't say the word terms. A term He's is... He's probably reading every other word. No, he, he read the beginning. He said a president can only be elected twice or two yeah, times. Yeah, he's like skimming. I don't, think, I don't think he actually ever reads a full sentence. Because I'm pretty sure it says two terms or 10 years, like officially on the official paperwork. So the question is, does it say consecutive or not? Okay, this is from the government.com. No person shall be elected to the office of the president more than twice. And no person... Who has held the office of president or acted as president for more than two years of a term to which some other person was elected president shall be elected to the office of the United States president more than once. Makes sense. Some dot yep. gov. It's a dot gov this site. Is, this is a dot gov site. <laughs> right, it's right. from the government. Right. <laughs> Can you check the edit date on that page? I was going to say that too. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, so basically max max possible is 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I should make it three terms. What? Nah, I don't think so. I think two terms are short, too short, you know? I think we, they should we don't be able- have terms on like Congress and Senate, right? I mean, Yeah, we need to have terms yeah. on them. Don't add terms. They're I also, really, I also think they should not be able to run if they hit retirement age. Damn, I lost. Actually, oh, wow. That sucks. Jared's winning. This is a surprise. I won the first time. Did you? I'm did, sure. did you not win the video? Watch the video. <laughs> I was in the video. Yeah, that's a good answer. Actually, that's a good answer. <laughs> <You don't- laughs> actually, mine's. Uh, yeah, you're just doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, you're right. It should be with the retirement age. I think they, they, yeah. It should be like pilots. Pilots aren't allowed to fly past sixty-five. Yeah, but if it's retirement I- age, that means Biden and Trump can have run in the first place. 
It's true. But Correct. So, I mean, we could go all the way back to 2016 and start all over again. Correct. Ratify the whole thing. I, I do think if you're above the retirement age, yeah, you shouldn't be able to run. Yeah, so, let's say your defense companies. What, what is retirement age now? 60. Did they move to 60? I think it's 67. 67? It's like, yeah. So, if you're 67, you cannot run. If you're 66, you can run and finish out your term. So, so you, you can't can be, run a second time. No. no. Yeah. And that should be with any political office period. Facts. I mean, that's how the defense agencies run, too. I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah, Zach's getting close. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it. 40 years. <laughs> but yeah. And then term limits in Congress would be good. But how, how many would you do? If you do two, that's only four years. Yeah, so they get Five. more. So what, 10, that's 10, 10 years? years? Yeah. I would say... I would say five. Age limit, 65. Five terms or five years? Congress is two... He's saying five terms, 10 years. Max. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Then what about Senate? There are five terms. There's No way. That'd be 30 years, right? Oh, yeah. There's a six-year term. Yeah. They have six-year terms? Six-year terms. Okay, so two terms. So then you could do two terms of the Senate, two terms of the president, and then you could do six terms of Congress. That equals 12 years. Yeah, that's fair. There should be a thing, though, where if you get voted in again, you should just be able to stay. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> you mean like what they do now? No, because there'll be limits. But same thing with Supreme Court. They should have an age limit, too. Yeah, a retirement limit. Yeah. Like, they have to retire at said age. Yeah, It's actually sure. funny you said because they're voted in once and they stay forever, a lifetime. Exactly. They're Until they die in. or retire. Voluntarily. Or mm-hmm. involuntarily. Excuse me? You heard me. You heard what I said. I think yeah. we should just pack the Supreme Court, put like 20 judges in there. 20 judges of our choosing. Agreed. Not even the president can overturn it. They should just give it to random people that aren't actual judges. I think that'd be better. Yeah. Or just fucking engineers. Just a random person. While we're at it, we need to change our juries. How so? Because I feel like juries are like, you get a lot of like random people that don't really understand the law that well. So it should just be like, like a random set of attorneys. I don't think I, uh, that, that's not going to work. Not gonna work. Well. Yeah, because they're lazy. No, because- <laughs> no, <laughs> they don't want to do the work. <laughs> I think I think the whole point is that like they don't know the law. You're you're judging someone based off facts, but you're yeah, but their sense you're judging them on facts about the law. They don't pick the sentence though. They don't pick this. No, I'm not saying that. Like if you killed someone and you know. You have a jury of your peers that are deciding if you did it or not. You know, they just rely on the facts. So you kind of, you kind of don't want them to know the law a little bit. There was, there was a recent case where, or glove sizes either, where somebody got off because they said they didn't really understand, uh, like what they were prosecuting them for. I don't know. Did you see that Neil deGrasse Tyson thing where he got kicked off a jury? No, why? Uh, he got kicked off a jury because uh, the judge went to them, went to the jurors and was like, is there any of you that uh, doesn't feel comfortable convicting with only one eyewitness like statement? And then Neil deGrasse Tyson was like, well, he's like, I don't feel comfortable because, you know, if you're just relying on word of mouth, that doesn't really mean much. There's no facts behind it. And then, like, he said something along those lines. Then the judge repeated back, is there anyone else in the jury uh, that, like, and then the judge tried repeating his statement, but got it completely wrong. And then he's just like, what the heck? You know, he's like, I really want to say, like, judge or your honor, you know, you just heard my statement and you got it completely wrong. You understood it completely wrong. Mm. And then he said uh, another juror called her out on it or him or her or whatever. Uh, I, think I did he, I think see he that. Said I did her, see yeah. that, yeah. 
he's like another juror like raised his hand is like your honor that's not at all exa- what he said like he said something completely different further proving his point so he got kicked off yeah. for having an opinion no no the whole the whole point was like like w- would you ch- if you know if mark convicted a crime and alex was an eyewitness would you only believe alex you know that he if i told if he you he said it happened mark would you killed my him? dog is that enough evidence for you to convict, convict him would you do something like that mark <laughs> no I know, Alex. It's a tough one. <laughs> so, so you're saying you wouldn't believe me just by yeah, saying yeah, it. Yeah, look at me, I, I look at me Alex, but I wouldn't believe one person. Yeah, look at me in the eyes right now. I did not kill his dog. Check the glove size. It, it, it doesn't he used fit. his feet. <laughs> you said it doesn't fit or you didn't use a glove. Uh, the second one. It doesn't, oh, it doesn't oh, fit. Oh, oh. I think we have. We have. He just submitted it. Incriminating evidence. Wow. Guilty. He said he Guilty. did it. <laughs> Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> Justice has been served. Wow, I've never done this before. That was easy. I'll do it again. You should have been an attorney. <laughs> we all should have been attorneys. You see that one guy that was uh ask who's getting asked questions, and then every time he answered, he'd like look at the jury, be like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yes. No, I didn't do that. That's what they should do. Yeah. <laughs> and then the like the other person's like attorney got mad at him. Yeah. Like, can you sh- please stop looking at the jury? Technically, the case is being presented to the jury. That's so- true. The look, attention should be given to the jury. It's over. Yeah, the lawyer's like, "Oh, can you make, look at me?" Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, you're not the one deciding here. Quick, quick! No, <laughs> I win. I win. You all saw it. I win again. Yeah, but you know what they should do though. Like, honestly, they should raise the pay for the jurors to match their like work pay. Yeah, I, I think I think they should do that too. That'd be wild it, for it, some people. Yeah, it would. like if you're a surgeon off duty, it's like <laughs> you're gonna sit there. For I mean, days? honestly, I think that's a better use of our taxpayer money than all the other stuff they're doing. Well, it makes sense because like some companies do offer uh, jury pay. Like if you're getting, you know, if you get called out of a jury, they'll pay you like PTO almost, but not a lot. Oh, there goes Alex. I win. So, so like, what happens if like? You're on a trial and it ends up lasting for, I don't know, six months. Yeah. Because like like the Young Thug trial, it's been going on for three months so far, 90 days. I think yeah. it's more than fair because hear me out. We pay taxes. It goes into you know the clouds or wherever it goes. And then we do a service for the government, i.e. jury duty. We should get our, basically get our, you know, our money back. They should be paying us now. At least equal to what we're making at our job. Yeah, because what, what do they pay? Like 50 bucks a day? And then uh, you still got to pay a tax on the 50, so it's like 45. Hmm. Paying taxes. Do you? Then. You might yeah. not have to. You do. Oh, you do? Oh, I yeah, think that, that they should pay us taxes while we're on jury duty. Facts. I do think, yeah, you're right. They should match pay, though. And then that's on them. Yeah, because you're, you're in trial for three months. Let's yeah. say you make 200 grand as a, a surgeon, like Jared said. You're not making money essentially yeah. because, you know, you, ha- let's say you have this expected lifestyle. All of a sudden you're not making, you know, that money. I think, I think I, there I, are not even more for that. It's more for people that like, cause what is it like hourly, right? 40% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. So I think it's like more for like those people. Well, yeah. yeah but not, get, not like, how not, much do you make before you go on jury duty? They're going to ask you that question. Yeah. You have yeah, to provide you, a pay stub. Yeah, pay stub. God, it's like a homework. It's annoying. And then Why don't they just call up the company you're working for and say, hey, we'll pay for a PTO for the long... Actually, you know... It, it, it works I mean, that's yeah, yeah, but the then, same but thing. But then that money's coming out of, you know, the company. No, no. Like, so yeah, they can no, probably... They say, will pay the, the PTO for the company. The government will cover it. So, essentially, oh. instead of giving it to you directly, they pay the employer to oh, cover it. That oh. would work, too. Yeah, that would make sense. Yes. Yeah. And then if you don't have a job... Actually, it works out great. If you don't have a job, they don't pay you. So, then people will be more inclined to get jobs. So, yeah, you're right. Good thinking. Bringing the workforce back. Yeah. Jury dude, one jury dude at a time. I don't know. I, the I, the, the I, job dropping seems kind of weird because like, what if like the one homeless person you pass remembers your face and then he's on your jury while you're on trial and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> no mistrial, motherfucker. I, I think you're not supposed to know the yeah, person. You're not supposed to know them, yeah. If you know them, then they have to pick a new Yeah, juror. what if you just. Well, in theory, if you're on trial, be like, listen, I know this guy. I know this guy. 
Well, that, that's part of the whole um, jury selection process. Yeah, but what if you lie? I like, mean, what if I know Jerry, but he doesn't know me? Well, you know, it is it is messed up because it's supposed to be a juror of your peers, right? And you guys are my peers. So, like, you guys should be deciding what, you know, what it is. Not some He's random innocent. person I don't know. What exactly. did you do? It what are they matter. accusing you of doing? It doesn't matter. Man, He's you know innocent. Me, you know how many murder cases go away? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I mean, you bring up a good point, though. If you're on trial and the jury is full of, like, 80-year-olds... Is that a jury of your peers? I don't think it is. I don't think so. Well, that, that's why you have to have a good lawyer. Yeah, they they take care. Of, they do their best to take care of that in the yeah the jury selection process. And then the other attorney's like, "No, I want all eighty year olds on there that don't understand anything." Yeah, I think Joe Biden was on Trump's juror. Yeah, was he possible. a jury? Yeah, it's entirely possible that trial of your peers. You see, Obama got. Didn't he get sent a jury duty letter Did while, he really? while he was president? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Did he had to go? <laughs> no, he didn't go. No. That'd be weird. It's like, Did what's you your excuse for, me? for not uh, <laughs> being a juror here? You, you're like on the trial, be like, just out of like, yeah, I voted for Obama. <laughs> 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 Guys, he's not guilty. I promise you. <laughs> Don't worry, bro. If you're guilty, I'll just pardon you. I just remember going to the. You're like, you're like and I'll vote for him again. <laughs> If I could vote for, if, if he could run for a third term, I'd vote for him again. <laughs> clip that. <laughs> Just start hyping him up. Yeah, someone clip that. Out where, of context. Where, where were you on the night of uh, the 27th? I, I'm pretty sure I was voting for Obama. You know? <laughs> Early voting. <laughs> but yeah, there's definitely need to be some changes. I still have yet to be called for jury duty. Yeah, I mean. I got that. a letter. I would, I would then, like to, I think. I got a letter, and then the next thing was just like, oh, like, you're good. Because I was on, like, the reserve or oh, whatever. Like, like standby, if, they, yeah. if we don't get any from this first batch, you're the next one. Mm. So, I got lucky. I haven't got one yet. If I got one, though, I think I would do it. I want to do it. Well, yeah, would you rather do that or go to work? I mean, work pays, but. Yeah, but if it's for six months, you're going to be like. Well, what if your work pays you? Yeah, I would 100% do it. Yeah, exactly. I think most employers do. Now, if it was for six months, I'd be like, maybe about, about, about three months in, I'd be like, yo, guys, we gotta wrap this up. I feel like Mark would eventually get thrown out because he'd be like holding his iPhone up like this, like recording. I'm just off. sending it to the group chat. Mark's, Mark's the guy that took the picture uh, inside the Supreme Court. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, yo, guys, check this out. <laughs> Look where I'm at. <laughs> he's he's gonna post it on Snapchat. Just like <laughs> just lawyer things. Yo, wild. Yeah, yeah just lawyer things. <laughs> Yo, you guys know this guy? This picture of Trump. <laughs> <laughs> just lawyer things, you know, just like pulls out a glock. He's like, Yo, am I allowed to have this in here? <laughs> no, you're not. Republicans took out the metal detectors. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Do they really? In the Capitol, I'm pretty sure. Well, they only put them there for January 6th anyway. After. I'm just kidding. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, this is a wood table. No, no you're spreading it. <laughs> <laughs> We're just, screwed. Uh... No, you're giving it more oxygen now. It's going to burn out. So stop giving him more oxygen. I'm pulling the oxygen away from it. No, no, you suck in the oxygen. You ever heard of the Bernoulli effect? It's one of these. Why did you do that? What do you mean? Do you do that all the time? You probably do that every other episode. No, no, he does it. He lights these all these things on fire. No. Yes. See, here we go. I, I don't try to stop them anymore. I just try to make it safer. That's not what I thought I would do. I let it I well, let it dissipate a little bit. You know what happens when I do this and then I do this? No. Show us. <laughs> but yeah. Listen. All I know for a fact is Donald Trump is innocent. 
Joe Biden's guilty. Hunter Biden's guilty. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. Trump said, Trump never said what his handicap was. I, I someone he said no. What? So, he I, said he said he just won like two competitions or something. Or two. someone said it was like two, two and a half. Damn, no way. That's what someone said. I believe it. I mean, he's on the golf course, you know, twenty four hours a day. I mean, listen, what's more believable, Trump's handicap being two or Joe Biden's being six? Actually, Joe Biden. Let's give him eight. Which is more believable to you? I I, I believe he probably had six when he was vice president. Yeah, I can see, see that. yeah, that but, makes more sense. Yeah. Which, which is what he said, but that was like Trump 20 was years now. ago. Yeah, no. 2008. Yeah, it's going to be real interesting though if he drops. Well, that was when he got in. I know, but hey, he was vice president. The real thing is when he drops, like how do you change the ballots in the states where you can't change the ballots anymore? What? I guess we just, they all vote for Joe Biden, but then he's not running, so it's too bad. I guess I could just do a write-in. I think um, one thing I think they shouldn't allow, though, is uh, like external governments pushing our election, like media-wise, because like Trudeau pushing was, it or reporting on it. They could report on it all they want to their citizens, but they were pushing U.S. citizens to vote a certain way. We had foreign, oh, yeah, we had foreign, foreign, people. foreign votes. Yeah, we had foreign influence on our election, and that and that's just like so. Like, it was Canada, not Russia. Well, <laughs> yeah, but no, like Trudeau, right, would comment on our election all the time. Make sure you get your mail-in votes in. Make sure you do this. Make sure you do this. And then as soon as their election came up, they're like, "Oh no, you have to vote in person." We wouldn't allow mail-in votes because it's unsecure. It's, it's I do like, remember that. Yeah. I'm sorry. Who elected you? Supposedly, the people of Canada. I do think early voting is good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, but, that's fine. In person, then, you know, early voting. but voting after 12 a.m. <laughs> no. Late voting should not exist. So, and, so and having late ID. voting. <laughs> so the rule, the rule behind it is that, like, if you're in line at like seven at the yeah. cutoff time, they have like they have to accept your vote. That's fine. Yeah. So yeah. in some states where they don't allow early voting, that's where you get those like late votes. And I, I know that's not what you're referring to, but he means like, like you know, two days later. No, no, no. Yeah. They should also require an ID. True. I don't care how racist it is, they should require an ID. I think it's, it's not racist. I think it's more racist to say that people can't get an ID. Yeah, exactly. So you're assuming that a certain group of people don't know how to get an ID. So to help them, you just tell them they don't need an ID. It is kind of insulting if you think about it. You have an ID, right, Mark? <laughs> no, nah, he was one of the guys that couldn't figure out. How to Did get you it. have trouble getting one? Next subject. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he says, I have AID. What? Um, next subject. That's what he said. Well, here's the thing. I have a picture on a piece of paper of myself, and I wrote my name on it. Your full name? Is it a laminated? I laminated it. Okay, that's good enough for me. It's <laughs> good enough for me. Does it scan? I can put a QR code. <laughs> <laughs> you scan the QR code. <laughs> this person is real. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I saw your ID, but you didn't have a middle name on there. It was kind of suspicious. Yeah, I don't have a middle name. I don't believe that. My parents are too poor. <laughs> Couldn't afford it. <laughs> my parents bought all the letters. <laughs> they maxed out the characters on my name. That's what I tell people when they ask why I don't have a middle name. I say my, my parents couldn't afford it. <laughs> and then like Zach was born, they had a little more money, so they gave him some extra letters in his first name. Exactly. Oh, me. Yeah. No, the other Zach. I thought you meant they gave Mark extra letters. No. They did not. They reserved them for their third son. <laughs> <laughs> 
It, don't they say most CEOs only have four letters in their first name? No, they don't say that. No, it's five. It's five? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, four, yeah. I think it's seven. I don't think so. It's like four or... Okay, so let's go through this Nine. real quick. Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates. Hey, yeah, but his real name is Billiam. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Ander Gonzalez. Zach. Ari, Ari Nikolai. No. So yeah. is his full name Jeffrey Bezos or just Jeff it's Jeffrey? Bezos? Yeah, it is Jeffrey. So, Which there goes that theory. Also, anyone could be a CEO, Mark. Doesn't mean you're successful. But I just I just want to point out your your fallacy. It's it's seven. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, William. Oh, oh. Who the hell is William? Bill. Marcus. Marcus. Is that, is that, is that, this is not his real first name. Probably. Bill, people who go by Bill, their William. name is usually William. Yeah. It, it, there's Alondro. a greater chance of their full name being William. It is William. See? Yeah. Alondro. Who? Elon. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. The most successful ones are four. Yeah, I think like two out I'm of I'm pretty the- sure that guy that got kicked out of Facebook, he had seven also. Yeah, that's why I got kicked out. <laughs> what, Edward Saban? Warren. How many letters is that? W-A-R-R-E. It's six. He probably has a an, an extra R in there. So was Steve Jobs, Stephen Jobs? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Probably. I think we're onto something. I think Mark didn't look at all the facts. Okay. I, I, I just made that up, if I'm being honest. <laughs> no shit. I feel like I've heard it somewhere though. I, I feel like I heard that too though. <laughs> I feel like I saw a TikTok in my brain that told me this information. I have, I have seen that uh most CEOs are like sociopaths. That that makes more sense. That's why Mark's a CEO. LinkedIn has found usually a high rate of four letter names among males as CEOs. But it's like the shortened name, not the full name, right? The top female CEO names are Deborah, Sally, and Deborah. Does <laughs> I could see that? Those are all five letter names, or no, six. for women, Deborah. for women. Oh. Mm. So men CEOs are different from women CEOs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you got effective and not effective. I could see Deborah. <laughs> I could. See, oh my god. I could see Deborah as like a CEO name. Like I feel like that's like a trustworthy name. It is. Yeah, yeah. If someone was bossing me around and named Deborah, I'd be like, okay, Deborah. You know. And her secretary is named Karen. And then she goes by Deb sometimes. You know, I could see that. Not Debbie, just Deb. Only if you're like the vice president or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll talk to Deb. Secretary calls her Deb. She's like, mm. no. Not going to work. Not going to work. But to be fair, so is it successful CEOs or CEOs? Because that's according to LinkedIn. CEOs. Okay. Because like, you know, you, I've so, seen plenty of 20 year olds on there. So anyone who applied for the title LLC. CEO. Yeah, that's true. I know someone that has multiple LLCs and a CEO of all of them. But I by no means believe they are successful. Yeah, according to LinkedIn, the top names are um, Peter, Bob, and Jack. One of those is a four-letter name. Yeah, but you take the average. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now it's the average <laughs> of all of the names ever. So I just need to have a company with a guy that has like a two-letter name. And yeah, you you'll be like a, co-CEOs. You got to find a bow. A bow? Bow. B-O. He's got to wear a bow tie also all the time. Or not bow tie. Uh, uh, the, I feel those, like those, a guy named the, Bow would probably be wearing like a cowboy the hat. The shoestring ties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do they call it? Bolo. Bolo, the bolo tie. Bow with the bolo. I like it. If anyone out there has a name Bow, I will hire you right now as a CEO. Of the cigar guys. I'm fine with that, honestly. Hmm. He can be whatever he wants. He's still not in charge. Yeah. 
Because really, CEO doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it means... Um, I also heard most, if not all... Do you not know what it means? Chief Executive Officer. Did you have to look that up? I didn't, actually. <laughs> I heard most CEOs, if not all, have a three-letter job title. <laughs> no way. I swear. I you heard know? that about COOs, too. What if they're CEO and president? What about a CJO? That's what is that? three letters. Chief Genitorial Officer. <laughs> I bet you some companies have that. <laughs> like, all right, man, you're, you're head of the janitor, janitors. <laughs> CCO, Chief Cigar Officer. Singing Chief Carpet Officer, guy who does all the remodeling. Mm-hmm. Did you know that Nvidia only has like three thousand employees, as compared to like Intel like, and like yeah, IBM, which have like eleven thousand. It's only like five more than us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. We count all the interns we hired and fired. I do. I do count them. Hmm. Yeah, think about it. We've been running for almost two years. And we've had just shy of 3,000 employees. It's crazy. Not including ourselves. We're about to uh, we're about to go through employees more than Chick Fil A does, which is sad because they always get rid of the good ones, like that sixteen year old with a Rolex. <laughs> that kid was funny. What? This is <laughs> this is kid at uh at Chick Fil A, like sixteen years old. You gotta be, and uh, he's just rocking like a fucking Rolex, <laughs> just working. <laughs> Only like Mary. Yeah. I had a kid in one of my classes in high school that uh, came with like a brand new Omega. I was like, dang, that's a nice watch. He's like, yeah, I just got it for my birthday. And then the next year, he got a Rolex too. I was like, damn. <laughs> Are your parents adopting? <laughs> That'd be crazy. I would buy my baby Rolex. Like one of those ladies ones that are like $3,000. Sick. Hmm. That would be kind of sick. Imagine your kid showing up to pre-K with a Rolex. With a Rolex. <laughs> the teacher would be like, what the fuck? Uh, today we're going to learn how to read time. I, I know how to read time. <laughs> Yo, check me out. I think I learned that in first grade. Spell ice. I-C-E. Boom. Done. Been known that. <laughs> like, spell rice. He's like, oh, I don't know. Spell Rolex. R O L E X. This kid's got his priorities. <laughs> the teacher points out the like the clock on the wall. So you see every tick that it makes, that's a second. And then the kid's just like, My watch doesn't tick. Does that mean it's broken? <laughs> How do I count seconds? It's just it's just like I don't know what the word is. It's just gliding. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Teacher's like, hold on, hold on, let me see that watch. <laughs> First of all, why do you have a watch, period? Second of all, why is your watch worth more than my salary? <laughs> We're in Florida, by the way. My You're dad, watching from my, New Jersey. My dad that. said if, if you're a good teacher to me, uh, he'll buy you one. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's got A's. <laughs> <laughs> Parent-teacher conference, like, I don't know what's going on in class, but this kid is the smartest one here, so... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the parents at home. Maybe it's me. I'm pretty sure it's me. Uh, but he's had A's this whole time. It's definitely me. I'm the best teacher by far. No one compares. Another parent like chimes in. I heard he hasn't turned in anything. So, uh, get well, him out. Get fake him news. Out. Fake news. What's your kid's name? Can we get security he's got your- F's. <laughs> no, the teacher's just like, yeah, but I knew what he meant to say. <laughs> He looks at his brand new platinum day day. He's like, yeah, I think that's all the time we have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, where'd you get that Rolex? Uh, it, was a, it was a gift when I graduated. <laughs> yeah, I just never felt comfortable wearing it to school. Like, you know, a bunch of kids, you know, bad area. Like Stanford or something. I don't know. 
They're getting better. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Salmon's coming up, man. Houses over there are pretty expensive now. I know. It's crazy. You got like a... Houses in California are also expensive. Does that mean they're getting better? That's different. Was that an assumption or presumption? Mm. <laughs> yeah, but houses in California are expensive because... Dodgy question. <sighs> What's all the oil that's next to them? You know what I mean? They have all those oil rigs. They do. They do so, have a lot of oil rigs. Like in the city. Yeah. Sanford? No, no, uh, California, like mm. LA. Do you guys remember um, driving down in Tampa? There was that sign that said "Welcome to Orlando." No, I've and never was, once seen that sign. You haven't? They no. used to have a sign because it used to be, uh, you know, all those oil rigs and stuff in the flight of fantasy. Oh, o- oil. Oh. Okay, I thought he meant like Orlando and Tampa. I no, was like, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. no, no, in they, between. Yeah, but, but they had a legit street sign. It, oh, it's not okay, there anymore. Sorry. Two separate thoughts. But th- this guy, this rich guy, bought a bunch of land out there. And he, he wanted to like build it up to make it like an in between for Tampa and Orlando, and he named it Orlampa. And he even got them to put a sign up there. It's gone now, but for a while there was a sign that said "Welcome Isn't to Orlando." Isn't just na- Lakeland? No, it's different. Is it like Legoland? <laughs> I think there's a a, a plane museum there. Yeah, yeah, that's where, that guy's. Where, yeah. in, where is the dinosaur park in after Orlando? After Orlando, and then it's before, or it's. Oh, I'm it's, sorry, it's after Orlando and before Plant City. Yeah, it's out. Yeah, that's correct. After Orlando. Yeah, the, so the, it's the more, dinosaur place is after Orlando, and then Lakeland is before Orlando. Is that far? Yeah, it's right in the middle. It's exactly in the middle. Well, I know the dinosaur park. I thought it was closer. Though, oh no, so. it's closer to Tampa. Yeah, yeah. Once you see Diamond Land, you know you're like thirty minutes away. So you're in like Oh Tampa. Yeah. Not Orlampa, but Oh Tampa. Yeah. You're losing letters. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. So Orlando is like Disney World. No. Orlando. Disney World is like. Right in Orlando, kind of. Okay, so no, because it's in Lakeland too. Yeah, but it's also in Cas or uh, Kissimmee. Orlando's here. Disney's like here. Kissimmee's here. I would say it's Orlando. I, I read a thing that said uh, Disney. The amount of land they have is as much as Manhattan. I don't know if that's true or not, but I believe that. Because I mean, think about yeah. it. You could go on four twenty nine, right, and then I four, and they own all of that land in between that. Yeah, and two Manhattan's. A big city, but geographically, it's not as big as people think. You know what I'm saying? Like in terms of land, they just oh, build up. Well, so well, that's true. But that's another thing, right? Is it the original size of Manhattan, mm, or the after the galvanized steel? I didn't really read too much into it. I just saw it on like a headline title because they they've extended. This is, this Manhattan. is a problem with everything that we've talked about for the most part. It's feel- Mark reading headlines and Zach hearing it from someone. Yeah, but like, are you, are you gonna read that? Are you gonna read that? I'm not going to read that. No, but you're going to spread misinformation to other people? I said, I think. I didn't say for a fact. That's like the guy that crashed a plane into land because the Air Force chased him. What? Exactly. Did that happen? No. But that's what the headline said. No. I, w- no. I, would, I would read that article. It'd be like the... Yeah, 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 I hope you would because it was definitely not what happened. I would definitely read that article. Though. It was two separate incidences. No, it'd be like F-22 finalizes his first kill. A balloon question mark? That's that's a headline. <laughs> <laughs> and I would read that because it's interesting. Now, if, you, if I see an article that says this is the size of Manhattan, I'm just going to be like, all right, that's cool. I'm not going to read that's it. That's problem. Care. You have to read the boring stuff too. I just want to say that I think that balloon was following me because I went to Kansas. It went over Kansas and then I went, came to Florida and then it was coming down to Florida. Crazy stuff. And then you went to Indianapolis and it was sunny. You, you saw those balloons What's that uh, North Korea no, was sending? It was raining. But it, the sun was out oh, that's true, yeah. at night. You saw, yeah, those balloons? Yeah, yeah. you saw those balloons that North Korea was sending to South Korea? The balloons? Yeah. No, I didn't actually. It sounds sending, like they're nice people. But, this is back to the, the poop study. They were sending, they were sending uh, like stool <laughs> in balloons. I feel like I did hear about that. That That's that's kind of funny. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. They're like, they're like, what do we do with this? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's pee and poop. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's messed up. I don't think they have the power to process it. Yeah, probably not. They can't keep dumping into a lake either. Cause 
You think it's all Kim Jong Un's? <laughs> it's probably he, he, he guy, does, it's a big he doesn't guy. have a butthole. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right. It's a pure poop. <laughs> he works so hard that he burns off all of the food that he in- ingests. Oh man, it makes sense. Honestly, I don't know. He's a big guy, man. He's got to get constipated a lot. Yeah, but, so, so it might be true. That's the thing. He's burning off all of the waste, so he can't burn off the fat because he's too busy burning off the waste. Yeah. He's just built different. His kids are porkers too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Is that, is his son John Pork? Probably. <laughs> He's also got a secret daughter that's hidden. You heard that? No. Is that Rosie O'Donnell? No, I can never go to North Korea. Damn. I don't think you could have ever gone. <laughs> now I can't go. You know what's actually super interesting? Did you ever see that Vice where the, the guy went to North Korea? Oh, like, uh, like through China? He went. No, he went through Russia. Oh, no, I, I didn't. Oh, you got to watch him. It's super old, but it's like pretty interesting. I saw the one where he the guy flew to China and then w- went to North Korea through there. Really? No. No, no. This, you got to watch this Vice one. That's back when Vice was good and they did like crazy shit. And it all went downhill. Yeah, they suck now. Are they still a thing? I don't know. I think that North Korea thing was like the peak. <laughs> you don't watch it. Like the guy's like super funny. He's like an alcoholic. <laughs> so he, he flew to Russia and then flew to. No, he flew to Russia and then they got to North Korea on a train. Sounds like a long train. Like long he, train he snuck in? Uh. I forgot it. I gotta watch it. I forgot exactly. If he came on a train from Russia, hmm. Maybe he didn't have to sneak in as hard as he would if he came on a train from the United States. How long ago was this? Oh, I mean, it's gotta be like seven years now. Eight years, maybe. Look up when was Vice good. Hmm. I can probably find it right now. <laughs> no headlines, though. No ChatGPT either. Actually, that might be a question for ChatGPT. I'm curious to see what they say. Oh, he's on YouTube now. Oh, this is it was twelve years ago. So the answer is it was a years seven ago. part series. Yeah. Yeah, go watch it. It's fun to watch. I'll watch the seven part series about this guy going to North Korea, but I'm not gonna read an article about how uh, much all right, Mr. I watch suits on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, but I know that's a fictional show. You don't know that. It's based on a true story. No, it's not. It was. You know what else is based on two story? story. <laughs> what? That's how one Seth Rogen where he goes to North Korea. Oh, the, the interview? The interview. <laughs> no. Mark probably watched that and thought it was real. I, I watched it and thought it was funny. But, well, now, like, if I was in that movie, I would definitely not attempt to go to North Korea. Oh, no. I'd no. be so scared. I mean, I wouldn't attempt right now. Like, I don't think I'd ever attempt. Yeah, exactly. Why go? They don't own grocery stores. Yeah, they do for visitors. Mm. Why is there nobody here but me? Oh no, they have fake shoppers. Yeah, they're fake shoppers. Yeah, to make sure you don't steal. <laughs> you ever seen the one where the guy was over there and he was like at a car dealership, and then there's like fake, there's like fake shoppers, and he's looking, he's like, hmm, and he's like walking around, and he like walks up to him, he's like, well, which one do you think about buying? And he's just like, <laughs> like well, walks away. He doesn't speak English, duh. Mm. Well, and then if you look at the the like Korean North Korean propaganda videos. Where they're like talking about how everyone has access to internet, or whatever. If you look at those videos, all those guys are just on a screenshot of the Google homepage and like they're not typing in anything. And then the one person that does stuff with computers, it's like, you know, some shitty like software that they wrote, you know? Yeah. Do you remember that one TikTok propaganda run where they were like talking about North Korea? Oh my God. They had those like North Korean influencers. Yeah. It was like, yeah, that was crazy. That was a crazy time. How do we compare that to the, the Dubai influencers? At least you got shit to do in Dubai. Korea was just like, oh, it was like an automated like girl voice, you yeah. know? And it was like, it was like, you hear it's bad in Korea or North Korea, you know? Look at all the fun that we have. Look and at our water just, parks. <laughs> it's like an empty water park. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they're all busy working. 
They you say jobs. there's no food in North Korea. Look at this kid. And it's like some overweight kid. <laughs> it's like <laughs> that kid's got to have the best job. He just eats all day. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, eat or your family dies. It's like, shit, all right. <laughs> <laughs> God. That's a, it's a crazy country. What if he watches us? We, I'm not lying to you. I, I swear. I swear to you. If you go on our website and look at our stats, we have at least one person from North Korea that visits our website. I swear. We'll pull it up after this. It hey, could or, be him. Or maybe it's someone proxying. It could be that. There's a server there. It's probably that. Yeah. <laughs> they have servers there? That's like on or TikTok tour. when people were posting like they were in North Korea. <laughs> oh, on Snapchat, I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spoofy location. You ever see that one guy who was in the ocean and he's like filming himself? But he never really turns all the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. It, his phone never dies. He never has sunburn. He never is seen eating. Yeah, yeah. I will. So, I will tell you though, for the amount of videos he's recorded, that was a long time in the water. <laughs> regardless. Yeah. I, I will say though, uh, they never seen us eat. So, do we eat? Oh, we definitely eat. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> yeah. I think it's about that time. Pretty, pretty interesting. It's episode. plausible. A lot, lot of subjects. Let's see what we covered. We covered stool, um, government, uh, articles, and, Thank then, you guys for and then North Korea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, headlines of articles. Yeah, you're right. Headlines of articles. And seven part video series on YouTube. What we could do is like transcribe that and have Chad be like, you know, like summarize it for us. Or Mark can just watch it for That's us. That's what we do for all episodes. I'll, I'll watch it again. It's pretty fun. And they're only like five minute, five minute uh, oh. things. So it's like 35 minutes. Yeah, it's not long yet. Why couldn't they just make a 35 minute video? This is this is back when YouTube was like five minute videos only. That's true. All right, we about to say that. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Cigar Guys. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Uh, catch us on the next episode. Thanks, guys. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cigar Guys podcast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes. Looking for short form content? Check out all our social media accounts in the description below. And now, a final word from our sponsors.